What's up out there? Welcome back to some more internal suffering. This is episode 18 and I would like to do something a little bit different in this video. So I would normally probably be trying to do impending darkness or something like that and maybe do a phase of it or one of the boss phases or something, but I've ran into kind of a brick wall and I just want to basically experiment a little bit and record it. Um, mostly if people are curious or see how things go or whatever, I, I don't know. So the problem that I'm running into, I've, I, I don't know how many, I don't know how I can tell how many times I've tried impending darkness, but I've tried it at least a half a dozen times. And I know that doesn't sound like a whole lot, but by the time you sit through all the trash mobs and you get up to fighting the actual Bane fight, actually, I might've tried it a few more than that. Um, so if I go into monsters and I look at these red claws, I have encountered these red claws 21 times. I've killed seven of them and I've gotten killed eight times by them. So I've ran away a few times and basically this metric right here that I'm trying to show, and it's not a very good one, but I've fought more red claws in the impending darkness event than I have outside of the event. Um, I think I fought two or three of them, something like that. I did get a few drops. Oh, I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. I thought I got a couple of their drops. Apparently I did not. Um, we can check that in the item list here. If we scroll down to wherever it shows the pieces. Nope. I did not get them. So I don't even have a piece of their shell or their little essence or whatever. So the point I'm trying to make here is that I am having a huge problem getting through these red claws. These, uh, uh, greater skeletals, they killed me once. I've killed 19 of them. Totally different story with this red spiked red claw. And these things really hit you hard with bleed. Now I haven't found any armor that can idle either one of these two. And I have to basically sit through the fight and it takes you pretty much a whole day or two's worth of grinding to get their items out. And I don't want to sit there for 24 hours or 48 hours trying to um, manually fight those things. And there's nothing I can do to actually get better gear because I've already got the best gear that I can. Which is where the problem comes in. So I thought, let's do some experimenting. Um, I have actually made it through phase two. I have the shield of range power. So you, if you're unfamiliar with the impending darkness event, um, once you start this event, you pick some negative modifiers, and then it basically takes you through these four areas. And the it's recommended that you do the unhallowed wasteland first, then you do dark waters, then you do perilous peaks, and then shrouded badlands. Cool. That's how you're supposed to, uh, I'm sorry, Unhallowed Wasteland, Dark Waters, Shrouded Badlands, and then Perilous Peaks. Uh, for some reason, if you ended up at Perilous Peaks, it's better for the Bane fight. I don't know. It's what it's in the wiki, so that's what I've done. Um, the, the killer is that you have to get through all of this. Now, I can idle Lagarn Worms and Cursed Liches. No problem. And the Greater Skeletals, I can almost idle. No problem. Um, you have to do what I'm calling pump the brakes is basically just tap on the, on the food thing every once in a while. I don't really have to hold it, but these spiked red claws, I, I've actually manually ate through it and still died. Like once you build up enough stacks, these things just slaughter you. And if you get one as the boss for that, for this unhallowed wasteland, it just, it's, it's a, it just doesn't go anywhere. The fight doesn't go anywhere. Um, I did go through and beat, I think I got killed the first time. I tried this in the Unhallowed Wasteland. Uh, I think the second time I tried it, I actually got through. So I got my shield of melee power. And then I died again when I was trying to go through phase two. I died to a red claw. And then I tried it again, died to a red claw. I tried it a few times the other day and I kept dying to red claws. Like it just wasn't letting me through. And then I did get through phase two eventually and killed Bane and everything was cool. And I got that shield of ranged power. But then I died to a red claw right out of the gate. Now, if you go into this, if you get into this area, I think there's what, five or eight different things that come along in here. If most of those are red claws or two or three of them are red claws, you're just going to get demolished. And I just, I haven't found a good way. Long story to say that what I've been doing is running 
protect item and protect melee. And what that does is it lowers their chance to hit you to 20% and it prevents me from losing an item because I don't want to lose the title edge it took a while to work for. I could lose the melee thing, but the elemental zodiac, fear of the elemental zodiacs, I don't want to grind that out again either, you know? So here's the dilemma that I am looking at is trying to get through this damn thing. So if I go in here, they're going to heal 70% of their hit points every two turns. So that's not good. That's just going to keep healing and it's going to keep doing massive damage. Plus it does stacks. Um, I, for lack of anything better to do, I went and got this elder crown the other day. It doesn't really matter. Um, what you're supposed to run. Let's see here. What's my gear. I need to put this on. You have to run the master slayer gear and you have to have a piece of slayer gear in passive. And then you have to have one of these hunters rings on as well. So that means that takes all your damage reduction off any of the potential damage reduction you could have with, I don't know, the, the, uh, guardian amulet or something. You just lose all that. And let's see. The other thing I need to put on is the boots, the gloves and the waist. Um, the only other thing that I can get a little, this has got 9% damage reduction. The only other thing I can do is maybe another earth layered shield, which I did go ahead and get one. I went and parked in there the other day and I got a, actually I got three more or two more. So I have three total so I can equip this on here. Um, let's see, that gives me an additional 3% damage reduction. Um, let's see, what else can we do here? Not really much else. The prayers are limited because I don't want to lose something. You know, the, these things take time to grind out and I don't want to lose them. And I can't really change any of this gear out because it just screws me otherwise. So let's see if we can fight this thing. And actually I'm, I'm doing the wrong fight. I'm doing the wrong fight because I need this to be ranged going up against that. Um, which has the poison virulence gloves. We're all set for this. The one thing I did notice that I wasn't thinking about, this impending darkness event is a dungeon, technically, I guess, but it goes into Slayer areas, and I'm assuming the Slayer crossbow does more damage in the Slayer areas, so I've been using that instead. Uh, so let's see here. This is supposed to give the enemy a reduced damage reduction, a little bit more maximum hit, and a little bit range critical. Uh, let's see. Our, let's just look at the fight as this, this is going to be ranged gear versus this thing. So I have 41,600 and this is already 43,660 because of that bleed. And this is where I'm pumping the brakes. I'm just basically tapping the health to get a little bit because your attack interval is pretty decent, pretty well, if it's 0.25, if you're not slowed, it's a quarter second. So you don't really have much time, but I don't want to hold the heal and manually heal the whole time unless I really get down there. Um, just for the simple fact that it, le it it means I'm attacking less often, if that makes sense. So if I'm doing what I'm calling pumping the brakes, it's putting some healing in there and keeping me healed. Now, see, I'm not building up stacks. But this is 43,000 and I can... So there, I've actually killed one. But like, I can't idle this. You know what I mean? And I'm not getting the stacks built up because it's not the impending darkness event. So there's no way of keeping those stacks off. All right. So we'll run from that thing. So let's try switching out. Um, this is a melee fight. Let me sort that again because I lost something. So let's equip a little bit of melee gear. I don't want to take those away. I know this seems counterintuitive probably, but let's put some melee on here because this gives you melee defense. Now, I don't know how much that's going to make a difference. It's probably just to its percent to hit or something like that, but we'll try that out and see what, how it goes. Um, what I'm looking for is 37,000. Nah, 43, six. So it's still 43, six. Let's throw on the earth layered shield. Like this thing here is my big stopping point. I cannot get around this. Like it's just not getting around. It just, it's just not happening for me. And I don't necessarily want to idle this. That's 32, nine. 
What happens if we get poison or uh, bleeding? We're not getting bleeding, which is good. <sighs> oh, that's 38. So that's, that's actually, I might be able to idle this with this. Now, I wonder if this translates into an actual aid for the impending darkness event. If I could idle like this, I probably would. Of course, it's going to burn off a lot of prayer points. But if this combination of gear actually works well, I might I, this might actually get me through this this fight because this is just insane. Uh, do, 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 do. If you're bleeding, this attack deals eighteen thousand additional damage, which I am bleeding. It's looking good so far. I'm not worried about dying right here because I got protect item on, in case you're wondering. And this is not a hardcore character, so I don't have to worry about that. Maybe I can idle this then. Of course, chewing through a lot of emerald bolts. And we're 27% and chance to hit. Max hit 52,000. Maybe we can idle this thing. So let's see if we can equip these things. It's going to do less damage. Now, this the thing with these ancient javelins is there's a ton of them. I have 100,000 of them, so I could probably let this thing run for a little while. If it slows down on killing it a little bit, not a big deal. I cannot get any more bolts. Yeah, 30,000 max hit. But it doesn't change. I don't, With the ancient javelin, um, I'm not losing my shield. You know what I mean? So I have a hundred thousand of these things to use up. Maybe I can idle this stuff out. I can't remember what the gear you get with this is, but if I could get this upgraded, that might not be a bad way to do it. Or more potentially is to do this fight. And that's what I should do. That's This is the whole point of me trying this stuff um, is so that I can work on impending darkness. Because this, this thing, this specific creature right here is what's been killing me. And preventing me from moving forward through the impending dark, darkness event. Like every time I get to one, it's pretty much a showstopper. But if I can, if I can last through this, um, like I have jade stone bolts, I could toss those on and use those. Maybe that's what I'll do. So this is looking good right here. And that's using the Terran God plate legs and Terran God boots. Uh, I guess the theory is that these are providing a little bit of melee, um, well, let's see. This is 38.939. Let's equip. Do, 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 do. 38.939 will equip these boots. That stays 38.939, so that didn't change anything. And let's equip. What was it? This part? 32. That's actually dropped it down a little bit. But I'm not bleeding, so this might go up. This didn't change it, though. See what happens if it goes bleeding. Of course, once you're in the impending darkness event, this all changes because you start building stacks, and the stacks reduce your hit points and increase your... Um, there were bleeding, 38,939, so the gear doesn't matter. I guess it's putting that earth layered shield on helped. Okay, so this combination of gear will actually let me idle this thing, um, running protect melee and running protect item. Um, God forbid you run out of that because then you just get killed probably pretty quickly. Because this thing will do a lot more damage. Well, I shouldn't say that. It'll burn through a lot more health. And we still don't have any drops from this thing yet. Now, there we go. So let's run from this thing here. Yeah, it's the first time I found that. Okay, so I'm happy. I am happy then. That that should help out during the actual fight. Um, this combination of of gear 
Aeris God boot, plate legs and Aeris boots, that's fine. It's just the earth layered shields what I needed to make this really help out, I guess. Hmm. Have to see how it goes in the actual fight. Let's see if we can do the greater skeletals, because this is... Yeah, these things will be easy to idle. They're not building stacks up. Yeah. This is doable now. The question is, do I want to go through and grind out all this and get this gear? And that I don't know the answer to just yet. Um, I'm going to try the impending darkness event again after this little bit of testing. And like I said, the darkness event itself is different. It's got stacks and everything. So those that might change this dynamic quite a bit. Um, really, the only thing I've changed is the earth layered shield. But like I said, I wanted to try this out and see how things go. And at least we've kind of looked at how this runs. I don't know, for whatever it's worth. Um, I think people have been looking for ways of idling these. This might be a good way to do it. Um, I didn't think you could, but it looks very possible to idle these and collect up all this stuff. It may cost a lot of ancient javelins. Well, I'm using ancient javelins, you know what I mean? But like it may cost a, a few items, uh, bolts, if you're making bolts or the javelins, if you're using those, uh, you really need this earth layered shield on this thing to drive that damage reduction down. Um, I'd love to run some other things, but Oh, this one does build stacks. So we're at 36,000. I may not be able to idle this thing. Yeah. I don't, does this have any kind of stun? It's that whip. Yeah. Yeah, last till the end of the fight, so faster you kill these things the better all right that'll i may look at the red claws because that gives you bleeding and bleeding on all the stuff in the impending darkness event would be cool to have but i may not bother with it i'm not sure we'll have to think about that so i don't know if any of this was any value to anybody but a little bit of testing on the red claws because those are what's really just been kicking my ass so at any rate, that will do it for this one. We will catch you on the next one. And hopefully I'll have some better news with the impending darkest event after this little bit of testing. Take care.